U. Big U's. Okay, so this is going to be like my ideal gaming PC setup. Obviously, I don't have the cords and everything and just your casual gaming stuff like that. But essentially, um, Intel Core i9 9900KS processor special edition. It's a pretty fire processor. Intel i9. Hell yeah. Um, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. This bad boy is a hell of a graphics card. It has aerial fans on the top. And just tell me you wouldn't want those specs. T please give me a good reason why those specs aren't the like the best specs be best specs in like the world. Like you can't lie. Just just look at that. Look at that. Like oh my god. This is like an amazing graphics card. Next, we got an EK Kit 240 or an EK Kit 360. Like, these are some pretty fire, um, uh, cool water cooling streams thingies. Uh, RGB cooling thingies. I don't even know, but yeah. Um, this bad boy is a hell. And, and when I mean like a hell, this is like hell. Literally. It's a motherboard, but. I know what you're thinking, this is pretty weird, but it's a f flipping hell of a motherboard. Like, I swear to God, you come against someone with this, their specs are so good that they just have to click their fingers just like that, and they've got you. A good um, PC case, and your Corsair um, thing, oh, this thing, I forgot what it was called, but it's this thing, just that. Um, what you can do is just take the image and just copy the image and then paste it into Google Images. And then the Razer Blackwater Elite. This bad boy is a hell of a keyboard. I, I know I keep saying it's a hell of a thing, like a bad boy, but I'm not killing. I'm not kidding when I say that because like this comes with a wrist rest that plugs straight into the computer, and I'm pretty sure it has LED un underlights. This is like RGB all the way back, and this like connects to it, so. It's like all fluent and flush. So like, if there was blue there, it'd be blue there. Like yeah. purple, purple, like red down. Like however you want it. And then there's a little switches there and stuff. And you got there's actually like lasers instead of like just clicking a key. And I, I think there's like lasers, and it when it like cuts off the laser, and that's how it sends a signal. But um, yeah. And then you um raise the death out of V2. This mouse is like amazing. Just. Raise the death out of Elite. Just take a quick look at these specs. Alright, you done? Good. You, you you can pause if you need to. But, um, yeah. Next, you got a Steel Series QCK Prism Cloth. This is like the most epic mouse pad in the world. Like, you, you see it plugs straight into like the power or whatever over there. And then it's got LED. Like, you can't tell me that doesn't look cool. Next, you got a HyperX Cloud gaming headset right there, and um, yeah, in grey, there's like red, there's white, there's that, but I reckon the best is grey. Next, you got an LD 38 inch flask curved ultra wide QHD plus gaming monitor. This thing is three thousand dollars, but it's a beast of monitor. Next, you, this isn't, like, obviously you don't really need this, but, I mean, it's not the best gaming chair, but Ergolux yeah. Kevlar Gaming Chair Red. And then, I had to get this off Office Works, I couldn't find it anywhere else. But an Andesi Esport Gaming Desk Black 14007. Now, if I had, if I had been able to, let me just wait for it to load. Hold up, hold up. This would have been, like, my ideal pick. Because, look. Just, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good, it's pretty good for like, I don't know, it's, it's just good for a desk. And then, yeah, anyway, like you got, you probably put a, like a hook there, you got mouse pad all under the keyboard, you got monitors, probably like if you're live streaming, you have a chat on one, and have that on them, like just the gaming menu, then you'll have like 
this thing, the gaming chair doesn't necessarily have to be that one. Then you got a drink holder, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. I would personally have a water bottle there, like a massive, massive water bottle. Because, like, I'd be thirsty after a few games. But, yeah, anyway, these are, like, my ideal. These probably come up to, like, a few thousand dollars. This is a very expensive gaming setup, but... I mean, all of this all together is will make a hell of a setup. Obviously, you need the cords and like some other things, but these are the main. These are pretty much the main things of having a go to gaming setup. So um, yeah, this would be my ideal gaming setup with all these specs and stuff. Like this is, these are pretty good. And don't call me a nerd. Well, you can call me a nerd all you want, but I, at least if I get a good amount of money, I'll be able to make. I'll be able to build myself a sick PC. Anyway, um, you can use this, I don't care, just, anyway, bye.